Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another fun looking puzzle in front of us. This one is called Midstream by James Sinclair. And uh, I saw it look pretty fun because we've got some interesting things going on uh, between some of these clues here. Uh, so let's just jump into the rules, see what's going on, see if we can figure it out. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply and all clues are standard. So every row, column, and 3 by 3 box will contain the digits 1 through 9 once each and then these other two rule sets will just be their standard versions so ren bands purple lines contain a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order so this could be one two three four something like that would work because they would be non-repeating consecutive and in any order then we have the quad circles so a digit inside a white circle must appear in at least one of the four cells surrounding that circle if a digit repeats in the circle it must appear twice so there will be a 1 and a 9 in these four cells. There will be a 1 and a 2 in these four cells. There will be two 5s and a 6 in these four. And then, of course, the other digits are just whatever they turn out to be. So those are all the rules. Nothing crazy here, but there's, like I said, there's some interesting interactions that I saw happening. So we're going to give it a look-see. Link to this one's in the uh, description below. And, of course, uh, if you want to go to any of James Sinclair's other uh, puzzles, feel free the website is right there for you to do so. So let's get into this thing. Now, the first thing I did notice was these guys right here. So if we have two fives in this quads, that means we have to put two fives. Well, the options are that or that because they obviously can't see each other. You can't put two fives on a Ren band. These are fives. Same thing is going to occur here. These have to be our fives. That's going to tell us there's a six on this Ren band. And because we can't use a 5 on it, it's going to have to be 6, 7, 8, 9. Same thing is going to occur here, but going the opposite direction. There is a 4 on it, but there can't be a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to tell us this is an 8, 9 pair because of this quad, and that this is a 1, 2 pair because of this quad. Now, do we have any... Yeah, we know these guys can't be 4s because one of these two will be... These guys can't be 6s because one of those two will be... All right, now let's start looking. Do we start thinking about these guys? Mm, there's a couple of options that could still be occurring for both of these, so maybe that's not the greatest place to look. What about the, fi the fact that we have a bunch of fives? There's going to be a five on this Renban. So it's either going to be five, six, seven, six, five, four, or five, four, three, something like that. We don't quite know yet. What else do we have with our fives, though? Okay. Couple of curiosities. These guys can't have fives on them. So they're either going to be ones, twos, threes, and fours, or six, sevens, eights, and nines. Now, maybe we do need to use these guys to determine that. Because let's think about these first, then. If this is a nine, these are eight, seven, and six. If this is an eight, this is seven, six, five, because we wouldn't be able to put a nine in. So these are all high-ish digits. Now we know these are not fives. Now let's go back to what we were saying about this guy. He's either going to be a one, two, three, four, because it can't have a five, or it's going to be a six, seven, eight, nine. How could this be a six, seven, eight, nine? Six, seven, eight, nine. What do you put here? You have too many spaces for too few digits. This is one, two, three, four. I think we're going to have the exact opposite occur here, but let's go through the motions. It's either going to be a 1 here with a 2, 3, 4, or it's going to be a 2 with a 3, 4, 5. These can't be 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, this cannot have 1, 2, 3, or 4, so it's going to be 6, 7s, 8s, and 9s. Now the question is, where do we go from there? We do have an 8, 9 pair that says you can't be 8, 9. We have a 1, 2 pair that says you can't be a 1, 2. Actually, you can't be a 1, 2 either, so we have the 3, 4 on this guy. So these are the 1, 2s. Does the same thing happen here? Yes, you are not an 8 or a 9 either. So you guys will be. That 8, 9 points down here. This 1, 2 points up here. Okay. So that's a little bit of information there. Now we've got to figure out how to work these guys out. How are we going to go about that? Okay, well, there's a 9 in one of these guys, and that's going to give us an X-wing on 9s. Perfect. 
Nine in one of those, nine in one of these, none of these can be nines. This is a nine. This can't be a nine. One of these two will be, because it's going to be six, seven, eight, nine, like we said. This is going to be an eight, seven, because we have a nine on our Renban. Six, this has to be six, seven, eight, triple, because we have the pairs of the ones, twos, the three, four, a five, and a nine. Can't be an eight because of the one nine. That gives us a six, seven pair there. Whether or not that helps, I'm not entirely sure just yet. Can we do the same over here? I don't think we can. Yeah, it's not quite the same restrictions. We do have a 6, 7, and an 8, 9 pair, so these guys are going to be from 1, 2, 3, and 4. This can't be a 1 or a 2. This is a 2, 3, 4 pair. This is a 1. Okay, so we did have it, we just didn't look in the right place at the first time. This is a 2, 3. Now, this can't be a 1, so one of these two will be. I guess that pushes the 1 into here, right? Because we have this 1, one of these two has to be a 1. That's going to give us an X-Wing on this 1, 9 pair again. Right? Oh, actually, we could just say this one couldn't ever be a 1. That's the 2. That's the 1. Do we have the same thing over? Yeah, we did. I just didn't see it. That's the 8. That's the 9. This can't be an 8. Uh, do we have anything else there that's obvious? One of these 2 is going to be a 2 if we think about the column. So therefore, these can't be 2s. So you are a 1 and a 2. You're not 2. This 1 now says this is a 2, 3, 4. So you're not a 5. Okay, we're going to have the same thing occur over here, probably, because it feels like, after I punched the crap out of my mic, it feels like we're, I use my hands too much, it feels like we keep moving back and forth between these kind of things to see what's going on. That actually kind of hurt. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Yeah, two, three pair here. This is a four, which means you're not a four. This is a one, two, three. I don't know if that's super helpful yet. Uh, the 4 here, though, does say this is the 3 and the 4, which is going to force this to be a 4. You're not, so that's a 2, 3, and you are a 4. Good. This 2 says you are the 3 and the 2. Do we have anything cutting back over this way? It's doing the same thing. I don't see it right off the bat. Let's go to Sudoku, because I just saw something here. Where's a 1 go? It goes here, which means one of you is a 1. No one of those is, this can never have a one on it. So one of these will be, which means you can't be, which means you are. There's a two, three pair now. Okay, let's keep rolling with the Sudoku because it seems like it's giving us a little bit of work. None of those are twos, so one of these is. We know one of these two is a three. This could still be a five, four, three, so we can't rule that guy out. Go back to our two here for a second. One of those two. Yeah, we can do that because we can't put twos in any of these. So one of these is that then correlates back to here and puts the two here, which gives us the three and the two and the three and the two. And this can no longer be a two. So this is our two. Can we keep rolling with those twos then? We can. You are the two. I think that was the last one. Nope, we have to finish it up here. You're the two, which means you're the one. One of these will be a one. Twos are done, so let's just roll down that line. Let's go to the threes. This is a one three pair. And this is a three. And this is a three. And you are a three, which means you are a three as well. So we can get rid of that. Now this does not go down to a three. So this has to have a six on it as well. Because it's either four, five, six, or five, six, seven. We can put the six there for now. Let's just keep rolling with our Sudoku though. I think we should be done with there. We are one, three. That'll finish off our ones as well. So let's get rid of those. So ones, twos, and threes should all be done. Perfect. Let's go to the fours. It's working, so we're going to stick with it. That's a four. This is a four. Oop, it was on the wrong setting. So this is a four, five, six. That will 
will be a seven, eight, nine, but let's keep rolling this way first. You are a four. And you are a four. We should be done with them after this, right? Yeah, that's a four. Let's keep going. You're a five. One of those three. Um, interesting, we still haven't finished this guy off or this guy either, but maybe it's just something that's coming up quick. One of those. The fives don't actually look like they're doing too much. We don't have any sixes or sevens either, so let's jump to the eights and the nines, and then we'll move on to something else. The nine says you are the nine now, which means you are. We know one of those three was already, so that's not big. One of those two is, one of those two is, one of those is. Okay, I don't think we necessarily have anything more there, so let's try to find some way to disambiguate one of these other uh, groupings of digits. Six, that's a six, seven pair. These are from sixes and sevens. We said this was a six, seven. Sevens, eights, and nines, that's not, oh wait, this can't be, okay, there it is, duh. These will be six, seven because of the region. There's a five, six here. That's the seven, that's the six, seven, six, seven. These guys are not sevens, you are an eight, which means you are a nine and an eight. Now this can't be a five or an eight, so it is the six. Perfect. You have to be the nine, which means you're not. They're also not a six. So we get a seven, eight pair, so this is a six. We also could have just used Sudoku. What are you? You're just a given eight. You're the six. What are you two? Seven and eight. Mm, we've got a pair we can work with here to get this guy, which is a five, I think. Yes. Which is going to give us... What? Oh, you are a five as well, so let's put you in. These guys actually aren't disambiguated. You are a five or a six. What are you? You are the six, which means you are the six. That's a seven, eight, that's a seven, eight. Okay, here we go. The eight there says this was the seven, so you are the eight, seven, eight. That's gonna give us eight and seven. And let's try to finish these last guys off. What is this? Eight and nine. So this is our nine. This is our eight. One of those two will be our nine. What are you? A set? No, not seven. A six. That's going to finish the five, six. Now we can use the quad here to say this is a seven. That's going to say you are a nine. That's a... Oh, wait, the six there. It's like, we can't have a five, six pair. This is a five. You are a seven. You are a given of nine, it appears to be. And then what are you? You are eight, and then you are the last guy to go, which is a seven. There we go. You solved the puzzle solutions, correct? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, lots of solves here, and not a ton of time. Um, so very approachable. You just had to kind of get into the rhythm of what's going on and then kind of follow the option of what these Ren bands can be. So excellent puzzle. A lot of fun to do that one. Really enjoyed it. Hope you all did as well. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.